introduce yourself. Hello, I am Sierra Kusterbeck and I sing for Versa Emerge. And today I asked you guys to tweet questions, so I'm gonna put Sierra on the spot to answer fan questions. Yes. Okay, I have Sierra's band-aid tattoo. Well, this guy right here, the band-aid tattoo, it was actually my first tattoo I got on last year's Warp Tour. And I've always wanted it. I got it because I am very much a tomboy. Since I've been growing up, I've had just bruised and scarred legs. Like my legs are covered in scars. And I never want to forget my roots that I was just a tomboy, you know, one of the dudes most of my life. And when you're around so many people, you kind of, you're easily influenced and you can forget who you are sometimes. And I never want to try to be anybody I'm not. So I have a big old band-aid on my leg to never forget it. Next one says, do you think you've changed sound from your last two EPs? Absolutely. Um, we're still Versa. I'm sorry, I keep yawning. It's the end of the day. You're it's not been a boring, long day. I promise. It's just the end of the day. Um, our sound has matured, for sure. It's not different. We're still Versa. We have that, that Versa thing. We've always been writing the same. But um, it's not like we're saying, all right, let's go for something different. It's just We're just doing what we love to do, and it's all very natural, and it's very obvious that we've matured from our first EP to full length, and um, musically, and lyrically and as people as a whole so the music's got to change it's not going to stay the same so it stayed the same it'd be really late what's Aaron's favorite song to perform on stage um figure it out figure it out my favorite song to play because I love to sing it it's really fun and I am obsessed with the bridge I like I love it I love to sing it so figure it out and it's Blake's right now too but it changes it's like different every week or every tour oh Jenny um, it says, what must you have in your purse on Warped Tour? Oh, Which, I don't carry a purse on Warped Tour. Do you carry a purse on Warped I don't Warped carry Tour? a purse on Warped Tour, but sometimes I do carry around a backpack. And inside is like a schmock thing with paintbrushes inside and all these different paints. Sometimes I'll paint myself. And, um, and then I have like three different outfits in there. A sports bra and like sweatpants. Nothing really that I need, just a lot of clothes. Are you dating one, anyone, and if not, would you date someone you're touring with? Um, I'm not dating anybody. I am single, and I don't really want to date anybody right now. It's really hard to date, like, you meet a bunch of people on tour, yeah, there's probably a lot of cuties and a lot of nice guys, but uh, dating to me is serious. So, no, I don't date anybody on tour. I got a job to do, and that's to sing for you guys every day. Good. You so guys, I'm dating all of my fans. All right, this one's from Lauren Sherwood. I love your hair. What should I tell my hairdresser to do so I can get it like yours? Um, here's my advice. A lot of people are like, what? A lot of people ask me, like, what did you tell your hairdresser to do to dye it? What'd you do it? Honestly, this is just an ongoing project. I didn't go, I didn't come out the salon like this by any means. I have um, been trying different things all the time. I think it, things grow out and it all just kind of happens naturally and this is what it turned into. So if you go to the, if you go to a salon and say show a picture of my hair, they're not going to be able to cut it like this because this is like a natural thing. But I would say just get layers. You know what, honestly I'm not going to say because you should be finding your own hairstyle that works for you. This happens to work for me. I see many girls on Warped and at shows, I'm like dude I want your hair. I wish I could get my hair cut like that. But I know that I would probably look stupid with it. So just let your hair do what it wants to on your head. What would Sierra be doing if she was never in a band? I'd probably be a bum. I don't know what I'd be doing. You know, I, I would continue musical theater. I would probably, okay, this is my prediction. I would go, I would start applying to college, but I would never go. I'd take a year off. I'd try to do acting and stuff like that, and I'd make it. I'd do shitty commercials. And then I'd be an actress one day. I'd get this. I'd land the lead part, maybe in the most worst movie ever. Maybe I could have been the next night in Fox. Just oh. kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Favorite midnight snack? Ooh. Let's go down to our. Yeah, dude. Good. Midnight snacks are like prime. Because you, if you miss dinner and then you're all hanging out and then you get on the bus, it's like, let's make some snacks. My midnight snacks are almonds and raisins. I always have those. Sometimes I'll take a piece of turkey and I'll rub hummus on it and then salsa and then I'll roll it up and I'll eat it. That is so good. Probably the best thing ever. Or carrots. 
Vigilante 316. Fix It Zero inspired me to write a screenplay for my first independent film. Would you read the script if I gave you a copy? Yes, absolutely. I would love to read it. There you go. Ashley Say What says, what's your reaction when you hear that people look up to you and call you their idol? Um, I'm honored and just so flattered. Like, it, it's insane. I, I never really had idols growing up, but when I did finally find my few idols, um, and I look up to them, the fact that people look up to me like that is absolutely insane. I'm, I'm very honored and it makes me want to do better because I know that people are watching me. Kara Goes Kaboom says, I've heard that a vulture is all the bad things in your head or yourself, but then you also call your fans vultures. What is a vulture? Well, though it is the bad things that lurk in your head, it's all your bad habits, but the thing about it is everybody's so scared of their imperfections and they don't want to admit it. And I think that you should love your imperfections, even your bad habits, even the things that maybe people might not like you for. Because whenever you make a mistake, you learn from that mistake. You also learn to take chances from your bad habits too. Like one of my bad habits is I'm totally irresponsible and I don't think twice. So I've taken chances and I've gotten really good things out of them, you know, whether it's meeting people or discovering something new about myself. So at the same time, all my bad habits and my demons cause me to take these chances and really get something great out of it. And I mean, I feel it like that, like our, our fans, our vultures, they make us take chances. They're the ones that are motivating us. Like your vul a vulture will sit there while you're dying and he's going to wait until you die so he can peck at your brains. So when this vulture's following you and you're dying, you're like, no, I'm gonna live longer because I don't want this guy eating me. So it's just like that. You guys just make us strive a little bit more to go farther. Thank you. I am Sierra, and uh, you're watching Bands Girls Vlog. It is Warp Tour 2010. It's beautiful Orlando day. Time to party.